We have a lot going on at Mass today. We're going to be introducing our Arise program after the homily, and we have a special blessing for our wonderful religious education catechists. So I promise to be short and to the point. When I was a little boy, I was fascinated and in awe of fire trucks and of firemen. Just up the street from our apartment was a single engine firehouse. And as a little boy, I would visit that fire station and the firemen would let me climb all over that magnificent fire engine. I could sit behind the steering wheel, stand in the back and hold on like a real fireman and climb all over the hoses and generally just have the time of my life. I would bring my little toy fire helmet with me and even once they took me for a ride on that fire engine and they even turned on the siren for me. On that ride, I began to discover that being a fireman was not as easy as I thought. The men were hanging on the back of that fire truck for dear life. Then there were the ladders and the height. I am personally terrified of height. Not exactly a strength if you want to be a fireman. As I got older, I also saw the hard work it took to train and the raw courage for men to go into a burning building. It was one thing to love all the trappings and that majestic fire engine. It was another to work so very hard and to risk life and limb for that as a vocation. For me, this is very much like becoming a disciple of Jesus Christ. Our readings today are all about discipleship. Jesus is forming his followers into becoming disciples. Sometimes this can be very difficult as our beloved St. Peter experienced in today's gospel. There is a profound difference between following and being a disciple. A follower is more like an observing participant, kind of like me and the idea of becoming a fireman. Becoming a disciple of Jesus is a lifelong journey to be a student, a learner, and to walk in the way. And it is indeed a way of life. And it is often not easy. It requires work, training, and discipline. The Lord Jesus calls us by our baptism to share in his glory and to follow and learn from him. We're called by the Lord to become his disciples. And again, a Christian disciple is a student who learns a complete, coherent, and comprehensive way of life from the Lord. A disciple also commits and integrates this way of life into all aspects of his life. Being a disciple is not just showing up on Sunday for Mass or reserving some spiritual time within our to-do lists. It is a complete buy-in to following Jesus. Our second reading from St. James goes a long way to help us understand this walk of faith. We can pronounce our faith all day long, but if we do not live the faith by the actions and activities of our lives, yes, works, then really, is this a true and real faith? St. James boldly and correctly says, faith without works is dead. And if you ever want confirmation from the lips of our Lord Jesus himself, go to Matthew's Gospel, the 25th chapter, and read what he says. He will make it abundantly clear to you what he expects of his disciples. Our faith indeed saves us, and our works validate our true commitment to the words of faith. I'm reminded of a quote from a very wise man who once said, faith is the power you and I have to move mountains if and only if we're not too proud to push the wheelbarrow. In becoming students of the Lord Jesus and by following him in the way of the cross, we become like him. And discipleship is that process by which Jesus makes us holy and transforms us into his likeness. 
I love St. Peter, and I believe he is so much like each of us. In today's gospel, Jesus rebukes him harshly out of love. Jesus is forming and teaching Peter. And in doing so, he is forming and teaching each of us. When he says, get behind me, he is really saying, get in my footsteps. Learn, watch, observe, follow me. My way, not your way. My Father's will, not your will. In just a moment, John Oaken will come forward and share with you a new and important initiative we're undertaking at St. Elizabeth's and in every parish within our diocese. I urge you to prayerfully consider being part of this program. It ties perfectly to the true and active discipleship of our Lord. As we encounter and discover the teachings of our Lord, we will also grow in our love for the person of Jesus. This will transform each of us into becoming authentic Christians where our faith is a call to action. I would like now to call John up to share more on the ARISE program. Good evening, my name is John Oaken. I'm a parishioner and a participant on the Arise Together in Christ team. Do you ever feel that the daily clutter between you and Christ, that there's daily clutter between you and Christ? I do. It's easier for me to say that, that I'd like to attend work functions or, have, or be the family taxi to school events and sporting events and to also just sit in front of the TV because I deserve a break than spend time on my spiritual or my family growth. I feel that I'm a good husband, a good parent, and a good friend, generally. But do I dare ask? Can I do better? I believe the answer is yes. Just ask my wife and kids. Each of us can do better. But how? I believe the answer is through Christ. That's why I'm excited to talk to you today about the parish, parish and diocesan newest evangelization program called Arise Together in Christ. The Arise program forms small faith communities that meet each week for 90 minutes over a six-week period. Yes, just six weeks. Your participation in the RISE program will provide you the opportunity to meet new friends, deepen your faith, and encounter Christ. By, by participating in the RISE program, you have the opportunity to meet new friends, which will help you feel more connected to the parish community, learn from others new ways to live out your faith in the world, have more people who will walk with you on your faith journey. By participating in the ARISE program, you have the opportunity to deepen your faith by improving your prayer life, feeling more comfortable reading and discussing scripture, listening more to Christ and his great love for you, or learning more about Christ and his great love for you. Additionally, by participating in the ARISE program, you have the opportunity to encounter Christ, which will allow you to improve yourself by becoming more like Christ, put your faith into action, in your family, workplace, and in your community, and change the way you see the world. Everyone is encouraged to participate in the RISE program. In fact, Father Jim feels so strongly about this program that he's expecting all parishioners to participate, participate in it. Again, it's only a six-week commitment. It is a great way that we can continue our parish's theme of being nourished in Christ. In one of Father Ben's prior homilies, he stated that we are very hungry, our souls are very hungry, and we long to be fed. As an alternative to feasting on things that provide little or no nourishment to our souls, let us perhaps take time to share the word of God in sacred scripture in our small faith communities. Let us, from each other, 
let us learn from each other so that we can forge deeper relationships amongst our parishioners and live our Catholic faith in our community. If you'd like to enroll in the RISE program, there's envelopes in the pews. You just simply need to put in your name, the date and time preference that you can meet, and then place $10 inside the envelope. You can either put them in the offertory basket, provide them at the Welcome Center or to an usher as you leave today. Individuals from the Arise Corps team will be in the gathering area in the back if you have any additional questions or need any additional information. I want to thank you for your attention, and may the peace of Christ be with you and your families.